Don't miss your chance to win a brand new 2022 Honda CRF 450 Works Edition for 10 bucks. Go to www.kaplancycles.com. Buy your ticket today. The light. See the light. Time piece. It looks kind of beautiful. Doesn't it? It's like a brand new bike, really. Smooth as glass. Yes. Honestly, smooth as glass. And uh, I wish I could ride it further, but I'm turning it into an ice pop. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> yeah, all right. So in 1977, Triumph put out a thousand examples of the Bonville Silver Jubilee limited edition, honoring the Silver Jubilee of Her Majesty. We have the certificate of ownership straight from Triumph on this example, which happens to have 5,000 original miles an unrestored trim and it's just gorgeous. What do we have here, Billy? Yeah, look at this bike, Kenny. This thing is beautiful. Everything on this bike is original as it was, uh, with a couple of exceptions of things that aged out, like brake lines, etc. But the bike is beautiful. All the cycle parts are original, unmolested, unrestored. Uh, the seat with the red piping. These, this color scheme was to honor the Union Jack, which is the British flag. They, uh, they went that length to make it very British, even more British than Triumph Motorcycle is. In honoring the coronation of the Queen, the 25th anniversary, uh, this bike was commissioned by Triumph uh, to do so. And uh, there were a thousand units that were brought to the US. Much sought after. In fact, Triumph underestimated what they would, uh, how they would sell. And so they weren't prepared for the demand for this bike. And a lot of these bikes were ridden hard and put away wet, just like the rest of the Triumph T140Vs of the time. This being a special example, some people put them aside and knowing that one day they would be a collector's item. This is one of those examples where it was well dry stored and, uh, and very carefully preserved. Um, so the chrome parts are left with chrome. Even the, the, the rims have uh, special paint by the spoke nipples, and you know that's just painted right on chrome, and that would flake off in a stiff wind. You know, Kenny. Right. Well, right? That's what I was thinking, Billy, yeah. and that's the first thing I was going to point out was yeah. the paint on the wheels, which is just tremendous. You know, I don't know if the chrome. I mean, I'm sure the chrome on the hoops was a weak point for yeah. the '70s Bondvilles, and this one, there's really no imperfections in the chrome whatsoever. And then this factory paint. This is just. <laughs> Unobtainium. I've yeah. never even seen right. So, like this. if you if you were to hit this paint with a with a 
slight abrasive, it would take the paint right off probably. So the original Dunlop rims, spoken right there, and uh, wow. with the paint put on by the factory and certainly not prepared underneath, I'm, I'm guessing that it was painted right over the chrome. So perfect, and, and on the side here, the side panels spell out Silver Jubilee and one of a thousand. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. The, and the attention to detail, you know, the plug on the top of the tank, Silver Jubilee, 1977. You know, the, uh, yeah, the Brits love the Queen. You know, they do, they love their Queen. And um, they, you know, out of respect for her, um, they built this model and um, were able to sell more Triumph units because of it. Master plan that worked for Triumph. Definitely a lot of attention to detail and special things that I'm still, you know, noticing now. Um, like that tank emblem and then... The, the, one of the other things that Triumph did on this model was they chrome plated the engine cases. This is an option that, you know, people would uh, exercise here in America. Uh, they would take the cases off and have them chrome plated at great expense. Well, Triumph did it in this case to, to spruce up the T140V. They also chrome plated the, uh, the, the taillight housing here and some other, uh, some other parts had special treatment. Uh, the seat cover uh, for one. Oh, the seat's off the charts, Bill. Yeah, it is. I mean, look, it's perfect. It's out of the box. Out of the box and off the charts. The blue and the red piping. Just sets this bike off, really. For, for sure, yeah. And again, to honor the Union Jack, the British flag, uh, th those colors were present on this bike. So it's all British. It's even more British than any any average Triumph. And this one has had, you know, I I'm going to read right off the uh, the ad here. Uh, it's rare, unmodified, limited edition Survivor, uh, one of a thousand made. As we said, the Silver Jubilee was commissioned to celebrate the Queen's 25th anniversary of her coronation. And this bike comes with what Kenny had in his hand a few minutes ago, the factory certificate of authenticity. And, um, you know, underneath all this cool stuff is a great motorcycle that's fully refined. Right. Right, the Triumph 750 Bonneville, the T140V, a time-tested uh, bike that's got uh, a long history in development by Triumph, you know. They, uh, by this time, it had gone to the left-hand shift um, as mandated uh, internationally. So no more right-hand shift awkward, awkwardness. Um, uh, it's about 50 horsepower and about 400 pounds. So that'll tell you that, you know, it's got some get up and go and it'll rip around the back roads like, uh, like any other Triumph if you chose to ride it. And this bike, uh, running through our service department, uh, had great compression on both cylinders. The spark test was fine. It's got new NGK spark plugs. Uh, the points were dressed and gapped, fuel tank was removed, flushed out, um, and inspected inside. It turned out to be a beautiful tank inside. Um, it's got two new uh, petcocks that were in stock here at uh, Kaplan Cycles. Um, uh, we, we checked the intake manifolds and restored them. There were some leaks uh, because rubber products sitting for years tend to dry up all new fuel lines, uh, and it's got fresh non-ethanol VP fuel in the tank, which uh, will be a preservative for uh, uh, moving forward in time. Um, all the new rubber items like fuel lines and in in crossover lines were replaced. And the throttle cables were synced, so you get a nice crisp uh, return. Both slides drop at the same time. Uh, it's easy to mess that up, you know, with these adjusters in the cable here. You can, it, it's easy to get it wrong. So uh, I believe Jimmy did this and he got it right. Um, and the brakes were completely rebuilt, front and back. Brake hoses were needed, a master cylinder uh, replacements um, uh, and, repl and uh, rebuild kits on the uh, brake calipers. So it's fully gone through and uh, so you'll, you'll stop good if you need to. Um, it's got a new tachometer drive. Uh, it's had a hundred point check over. The, the bike is, and no excuses, uh, T140V. Um, I think they call it the LE in places, limited edition. So it, it's, a, it's a great motorcycle. It, it, uh, it will stand the test of time. It, if it's gone this far, it's gonna go another 25 to 50 years in this condition. It can, 
Thanks for that, Bill. All right, Kenny. Uh, small blems that I wanted to know on this side. Looks like some uh, sort of nicks in the side cover. Overall condition of the side cover and the tins generally are just tremendous. So maybe some small little, little scratches right here. And as far as the tank goes, just beautiful, original. You know, uh, I, yeah. I would call this maybe like checking. A, a little bit of checking, like some crazing in the, in the paint you see where yeah. the clear coat is starting to crack just a little bit, right, right Bill? Yep, yep. From and age. It's not a perfect tank, but it is original. It's perfectly straight. Yep. It's clean on the inside. Exactly. And um, it's got a little patina, you know, it's sign, right. signs of its age. Which proves that it's original. And we've seen people, we've, we've seen artists uh, replicate these kinds of paint jobs, but then, you know, they're only original once. Right? Exactly so, right. 100%, Kenny. 100%. Only original once. I would prefer to have it like this. I would want to preserve it this way uh, uh, until the end of time. Got wow. Seat here. Look at that. It's <laughs> oh stellar. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oil and frame. Wow. Yep. You can tell it's, you know, it's been cleaned a little bit. but it this, this brand is brand new. This is like brand new. It's like a brand new motorcycle <laughs> underneath. Yep. Yeah, I, I think the queen herself blessed this one bike, so. Dude, she must have. Look, there's usually wear on the paint where the seat makes contact. Right, exactly right, yeah. This bike hasn't seen the rain. I was told that by the, the, uh, our client that sold us this bike. Uh, never, never saw the rain in his possession. And certainly, um, you know, original tires still mounted on the rims. Though the air is British air in these tires. No <laughs> doubt about it, right? <laughs> Billy, I love the bluing of the head pipes. Yeah. And the profile of the engine and the chrome side. It just looks like... It's a total classic, you know. Where are you going to find another Bonneville 750 Silver Jubilee? I, put, I don't know. I put money on this being the nicest one available anywhere in the world today. Yeah, I, I would, yeah. Uh, I'd be with you on that, uh, as long as it's your money. A, a friend of mine bought one of these brand new, and he still has it to this day. Really? And, and he's kept it inside his house. And it is not, I've seen it, it is not as nice.